baptism and for heaven. May God seal your decision as we come to the last few days of this enormous evangelistic impact. May we want to recognize our prayer warriors. Over a thousand of them, I understand. We had a lot of them just praying, praying for the preacher, praying for the program. You got to keep praying. We have not come to the end as yet. And we want to recognize our young people. Dr. Tobias, they are so involved in every field, you know, with the equipment, with the Facebook and the, and the streaming and stuff like that. We want to recognize our young people. And thank you, parents, for allowing them to be part of this experience. God bless you. Congratulations on those who are baptized. And we look forward to a great harvest on Sabbath. Congratulations for those of you in Guyana who have gotten married and those who will get married. And those of you around all the, all the fields in the Caribbean Union. Hey, may God bless you. Sing with us, please. Rejoice with us. I'm a friend of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Not a night. Not a night of preaching, Lord. Two more nights. In fact, one more night to lift up your name. Friday night. Then on Sabbath, closing baptism, and then Sabbath afternoon, the grand celebration. But stand with me tonight, Lord. Speak to somebody, some heart. May somebody cry out tonight, all to Jesus I surrender. May a family decide for you tonight. May parents allow their children to accept you, Lord. Lord, take control. Speak through and in your man servant. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Well, we're going to get down into a provocative message here tonight. The benefits of the judgment of God. Mm -hmm. I want you to listen. Make that decision for Christ. Baptism. And eternity. Yes. Now ladies and gentlemen. We begin tonight with a text written in the book of Ecclesiastes. Yes. The book is referred to as the highest flower of poetry. Mm -hmm. Eloquence and truth. All right. Mm, written by the wise man Solomon. The son of David. 
and Bathsheba. Mm. Oh, you should know the story. Yes. And Solomon is known for being the king of Israel who built the first temple in Jerusalem. All right, preacher. In this provocative verse, it shows that judgment is what, reader? Reserved. Reserved for both the righteous and the wicked. Let's read it, please. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 17, what it says here? I said in mine heart, mm. God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. Yes, please. For there is a time there for every purpose, for every work. It is clear from the verse that God will have to step in to straighten things out. Yes, yes, preacher. Can I say that things are out of hand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Things are out of hand in our world, yes. upside down. Yes. I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm not calling anybody's name. All I'm saying, and you know that things are upside down. That's right. That's right. And if Richard. God doesn't step in, come on, somebody yes, talk to yes, me. Yes. I said, God doesn't step in, man. Even our children will lose their soul. It's a true, preacher. Yes, you're talking truth. And when he does, he will judge the actions and motives of the wicked and the righteous. Yes, yes, preacher. And so when Solomon saw how judgment was perverted among men, he looked up to who, reader? To God. To God, the judge. Yes. And looked forward to the day of his judgment. Yes, yes, preacher. No wonder he exclaimed at the end of his literary masterpiece, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 14. What it says here, reader? For God shall bring every work into judgment. Yes, sir. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And ladies and gentlemen, God will bring it into judgment, not Judge Judy. No way, preacher. Not Judge Lynn Tola. No, preacher. Is anybody here? Yes. Not Judge who? Marilyn Millen. Aha. Uh -huh. It will not be who? Judge Joe Brown. <laughs> The infinitely wise, the heart searching God will be the judgment. Yes, yes, preacher. The God who knows everything and every heart and every person and every country. Amen. Come on, somebody yes, say sir. amen. Yes, that's right, preacher. In this second to last or third to last sermon in the series, I still say that this is our Father's word. Yes, amen. that's right. That's right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the problem with the divine judgment is this. Mm -hmm. Many have a tough time understanding mm -hmm. how a loving God mm -hmm. could ever judge men and send them to hell. Mm, yes, yes, preacher. Understand this. I want you to understand this. The moral rules of the universe are simply an expression of what and who he is. Yes, yes, yes preacher. That's right. What is the point here, Claudius Morgan? Mm -hmm. Claudius, what is the point? If we see God as holy, yes. then we have to see and accept his Ten Commandments, yes. an expression of his character as holy. As holy, preacher. Yes, yes, that's right. Can I rephrase it? If we see God as holy, we got to see his Ten Commandments as holy. As holy, yes. God's kingdom mm -hmm. and moral law were not set up as a democracy. No way, preacher. Is anybody listening to me here? Yes. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, we do not get to voice our corrupted opinions. <laughs> corrupted preacher. Corrupted opinions. Don't get vexed with me today. Can I say again? Mm -hmm. I say we do not get to voice our corrupted opinions about what is supposed to be That's or true. what it is supposed to be. Yes, yes. Right or wrong, good or bad, righteous or evil, the moral code of the universe is simply God is. Yes. yes. He's a God of love. love That's right. Love and a God of justice. Yes, preacher. Come yes. on, somebody say amen. A God of what would he? Fairness. And a God of wrath. Yes. God has made many promises, yes? Mm hmm. Gone to prepare a place for us. Yes, that's right. Not you? That's right. Mm -hmm. And he said, if I go and prepare a place for you, I, yes. will, what? I will come again. I will come again. Yes. Coming yes. again. Coming again. Yes. Jesus is coming again. Can we lift it up? Lift up the trumpet and loud let it pray. Jesus is coming again. Cheer up the pilgrims, be joyful and say, 
Jesus is coming again. Come in again. Come in again. Jesus is coming again. Oh, yes. God, let me prepare a place for you. Yes. Oh, yes, man. No more death. Yes. No more crying. No more sickness. No more virus. No more wildfire. Yes. But I must tell you, I promise we miss is this. God must and will destroy evil. Yes, preacher. Come on, you better say, say that again. Can I say it again? Yes. I say God must mm -hmm. and will destroy evil. Yes, yes. God bound to must to destroy evil. Yes. Bound to must. Yes. Now, as we consider deeply the judgment of God, this assumption confronts us. Yes. The people assume that because God does not immediately wipe evil off the face of the earth, that he's okay with it. Yes, yes, it's true. Yes. Nothing could be further from the truth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He hates sin. Yes. He what? He hates sin. Man said the thing, the man, he hates sin. Yes, he hates sin. His entire church. being reacts to sin. Yes, yes. Sin disturbs God, man. He hates sin, and it is only because he's what reader long suffering that he waits before he delivers his wrath. Yes, yes, yes preacher. This verse of scripture is so true and needs to be fully explained. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. What mm -hmm. it says, Woody? God is long suffering to us, word. yes, sir. Not willing that any should perish, I tell you, but that all should come to repentance. So, God doesn't want to yes. kill you. Yes. Why did God send his son on the cross? Huh? Mm -hmm. And that's why when I bury people, I don't send them heaven or hell. That's right. You don't know who's going to heaven. It's not how you look in the coffin. It's not how your face looks. That's why heaven's going to have some surprises. Surprises, yeah. See, the book said there'll be three surprises. The first one is that I'm there. I love that surprise. Mm -hmm. The second one is that people who you never expected to be there, they are there. Yes, yes. It's true. And the third one is that people who you expect to be there, that elder, that leader, that personal ministry director, that pastor, that president, when you look, they are not there. Not there, preacher. Sad. Yes. What a surprise. Three surprises. God is long suffering, though. He wants men to have a chance to change their what? Opinion. Come on, say the thing, the man, to change their what? Their opinion. About evil and turn from it to, to him. To him, yes. Yes, preacher. Time has gone on only because of the patience and the kindness of God. Amen. Amen. You all listen to me, please, all over the world. Wherever you are, listen to me say again. At this time has gone on only because of the patience mm -hmm. and the kindness of God. Yes, yes, but preacher. But God is going to shut things down just now. Yes. God is going to close the door just now. Is anybody here? Yes. And he who will come, will come and yes. will not tarry, man. Yes. God wants us home. God wants his saints to walk on streets of gold. Jesus wants us to go to those mansions that he has prepared for us. Come on, somebody say, Amen. 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 Please understand, it is not slackness or procrastination that induce God to prolong the punishment of ungodly men. No way, preacher. Mm -hmm. yes. It is his long suffering. Yes. His unwillingness that any should perish. That any should perish. Yes. Let me see again. It is his long suffering. His unwillingness that any person should perish. That's God right. wants everybody. Yes, preacher. I say God wants to save everybody. everybody. The young and the old, the rich and the poor. Yes. Is anybody listening to yes, me? Yes, Richard. Amen, amen. God wants to save you. Yes. God wants to reach you. Yes, Richard. Oh, yeah. Reach out and touch the Lord as he passes by. You will find it's not too busy to hear your cry. Stand. Then by this moment, your needs to supply. Reach out and touch the Lord as He passes on. He wants you to die with the hope of being resurrected first. I buried so, buried so many people in my ministry, you know. And I look in the hole and I think of myself. I don't like funerals. 
But I have to as a pastor. I like weddings. Sometimes when I commit them word to word, ash to ash, dust to dust. Think of myself. And I want when I go down there that I'm ready. Ready to go. Yes. My heart can sing when I pause to remember a heart is is but a stepping stone along the trail that's why they intention is not to discuss the effects of the judgment of God. No, yeah. That's not my intention. I can preach about the lake of fire. Yes. Mm -hmm. The scripture indicates who will be there, the dragon, the beast, and the who? And the false prophets. I can scare you by telling you that some will be burnt longer than others. <laughs> True preacher. <laughs> yes. I can relate that the Bible says that the fire comes down from God out of heaven. Yes. I can say that. I want to tell you as well that hell's fire is not a myth. It's real. It is real, preacher. Yes. But that is not my focus tonight. Mm -hmm. Please encode this, my friends. Write it down and never forget it. God does have a merciful side to his nature. Amen, preacher. Amen. Amen. Is anybody listening to me? Amen. Yes, sir. Can I say it again, reader? Yes, preacher. I said God does not have what? A mer he have a merciful Let me side. Say it again, man. Let yes. me say it. I said God does have a what? A merciful side to his nature. Amen. And he takes no delight in punishing those that he has created. It is true. It's true, preacher. That's right. Adam and Eve should have been killed, boy. Yes, right. it's true. And God knew they would have sinned. Mm -hmm. The story of redemption written by E.G. White, I think the first chapter, God knew they would have sinned, and so God put a plan in place. Yes, right. yes, preacher. Not a plan to kill them, but a plan to restore them. Yes. Hey, what a great God we serve. Amen. Yes. And the plan was that God himself will become man. Mm -hmm. Because watch it, Adam sinned. And Adam was a man. And Adam was the first man. Yes. Therefore, no man could die for man. Yes. Uh, because every man after Adam was a sinner. So God had to become man. As, come on, somebody say yes, amen. Sir. Yes. Preach the word. Yes, sir. That's the word. Genesis 2 and verse 17. Come on, read it, read it. What it says here? But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, mm. thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And God was not talking to himself. This verse features God, mm -hmm. Adam, yes. and Eve. Yes, preacher. And he was talking to a sinless couple. That's right. Created them without sin yes they were punished but they were not killed right. because they sinned their sin brought what shame what sure. else self-consciousness a guilty conscience yes. and what else fear. fear of being detected by god yes and don't miss the last one what's the last one punishment from their edenic homes let's say it again and so fear of being defected by God. And what is the last one? Banishment from the Edenic home. Not only that, they went hiding. You read the scripture, man. They went and put on fig leaves. Yes, yes. Hiding from God. Yeah. Huh? Did God, did God know they would have sinned? Yes. He saw them. He was there. Wow. 
God knows everything what happens down here. Yes. And so God came looking for him. The same God who came in the garden on the first Sabbath and yes. kept the Sabbath with yes. Adam. Yes, when sir. Adam sinned, God did not leave Adam. Yes. God did not push him away. God came looking for yes, him. Yes, sir. Yes, preacher. That's right. And he was hiding. Yes. Adam in the garden. Hiding. Adam. Hiding. Adam. Hiding. Adam in the garden. Hiding. 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 And then God shouted, Adam, where Adam, Adam, hiding. Come on, one more time, girls. Adam in the garden, Adam, Adam, Adam in the garden, hiding, hiding from the Lord. Sing it. see what was coming huh? mm -hmm. can you see it mm -hmm. well I can see it yes. upon further reflection there is a balance between what we do sin sin and restoration and between God's judgment and mercy oh wow yes Hallelujah. Hallelujah. this is where it all began mm -hmm. and the merciful God yes, who knew sure. beforehand that one big word who knew before Lord Jesus help me mm -hmm. uh, this is where it all began and the merciful God yes. who knew beforehand had one big word on his agenda what is that word pardon come on Woody I yes. don't like you yes. let me see it again man <laughs> and this is where it all began yes and this mercy what's an adjective M merciful and this, what's an adjective yes, sir. and this what Mercy. merciful God yes. who knew before and had one big word on his agenda yes. and what was that pardon preacher Pardon. And so God's mercy reached out mm -hmm. and created a way out of this dilemma. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I heard somebody say, He's the same. Mm -hmm. He's the what? Same. same. He's the Christ of yesterday. Yes. Today, forever, mm -hmm. and He's mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, He is he's mine. mine. He's the same. He is the Christ of Today, forever, and he's mine. Oh, yes, he is mine. For I was lost and deep in sin. I opened up my heart and I let him. He is the Christ of yesterday. Forever, and he's mine. Oh, yes, come on, the last Wednesday. Come on, hey, oh, yes. There is something more than gold. Oh yes, oh yes. There is something more than gold in my soul. There is something more than gold. So follow me here. Yes. In order to be able to extend mercy to mankind, mm -hmm. God needed a remedy. For the wages of sin. All right, preacher. Mm -hmm. A remedy, help me, Jesus. Yes. A remedy that would satisfy his own nature mm -hmm. and still take care of the problem. Yes, 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 preacher. <laughs> yes, sir. Lord, oh, it's sweet, preacher. Sweet. His answer involved having a what? A perfect. I'm not sitting now. What is that word? A what? Perfect. Baba, you got to say it again, man. I say his answer involved having a what? A perfect. What the adjective says? A perfect, perfect. substitutionary sacrifice that God wants. Release, Release us. us of our guilt and judgment. Yes, sir. Yes. That's the word. Therefore. In God's mercy and love for the world. Yes. He provided what? What? The what? remedy for all our sin. <laughs> yes. Yes, preacher. So before yes. man sin, God was working. Yes. God was working this thing out. Yes. Because he did not have to create Adam. He could have made him as a robot. Is anybody listening yes, to me here? Yes, but he gave him choice. Yes. Hey, what a great God we have. Come on, somebody say Amen. 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 Help me, Lord, please. Help me. And so listen to me tonight. Mm -hmm. I said, therefore. Yes. 
Devil. Yes, preacher. In God's mercy and love for the who? For the world. He provided the remedy for all our sin. And watch it. Even though the judgment answers with fire mm -hmm. for the wicked and unrepentant, it gives a pleasing answer to the righteous. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, man. Yes, the sir. judgment gives him the right to accept us. Yes, sir. Yes. The judgment gives him the right to be raised up from the grave yes. for us. The, the judgment gives him the right to take us to heaven. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody say amen to me. Amen. amen. And if by chance you are angry and mad at him for the negative side of the judgment, watch it. Mm -hmm. He will transport your mind to Calvary. Amen. 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 That's the truth. Not my fault. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's yours. Mm -hmm. Went on the cross so that you could be forgiven. Yes. Mm. So that Adam could be forgiven. Yes. So if you don't make it, you got to blame yourself. Yes. It's not my fault. Yes. I provided a way. Yes. For God sent not his son into mm. the world mm. to condemn God the world. Mm -hmm. But the world through him might be. Same, I died on a cross. I took the licks, mm. man. Yes. I took the blows, man. Mm. I took the nails, man. Mm. I took the crumbs. It wasn't mm. easy. Yes. But I died so that I can set you free. Yes, I preacher. died so I can give you a second yes. chance. Yes. It is not your fault why you have sin in this world. That's why I died. Yes. Therefore, if you want to be rescued, if you want to walk on streets of gold, if yes. you want to be forgiven, come you have on, to preach. accept my sacrifice. Yes. And in accepting my sacrifice, you gotta come to me. Yes. Come unto me, all you that labor and the heavy laden, yes. and I will give you rest. Yes, preacher. Yes. That's the word. Hallelujah. Mm. Can I say profoundly mm -hmm. that the believer's representation? Took place at the cross. Yes. yes. Took place where? At the cross. Come on, see this. Took place where? At the cross, preacher. Lest I forget Gethsemane. Man. Yes. Lest I forget. Thy love for me. Lead me to Calvary. Yes. The king of my life. I crown Thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget. I turn from proud, lead me to Calvary. Come on, lady, come on, can sing it, lest I forget Gethsemane. Lest I forget, lest I forget. Jesus died on a cross for us. No one else but Jesus mm -hmm. can represent the believer at this judgment. It's true. Right. Right. Only Jesus can plead our case. Yes. Right. yes. Only Jesus can set us free. Right. Come on, mm -hmm. see the thing, the man. Yes. And, and only Jesus can give us life. That's why the Bible says, First Peter yeah. chapter two and verse twenty-four. Come on, Woody. You mm -hmm. gotta hit it. What it says? Yes. Who his own self? Yes, sir. Bear our sins. In his own body yeah. on the tree, yeah. that we, being dead to sin, yes, should live unto righteousness. Yes, man. By those stripes we were healed. That's right. Yes. It's all because of Jesus, man. Thank God for grace. Yes. Yeah. And so the crucifixion oh, yes. of Christ demonstrates the length. Oh Lord Jesus. Yes, yes, Can I say it again? Yes, sir. Can I go from the top again? Yes. I said the crucifixion of Christ mm -hmm. demonstrate the length yes. right. to which God went to provide an atonement for us. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, preacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes. The promise was made to Adam. Because before sin, his pardon was guaranteed. Yes. <laughs> yes. I said, therefore. Mm -hmm. Can I put my tongue between my feet and say, <laughs> therefore? No, yes, preacher. And so Therefore, yes. Calvary puts the judgment in our favor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, somebody say amen, amen. man. I said, somebody yes. say amen, man. Amen. The Father showed why He is a God of love uh -huh. by what He did in sending His Son to take our place on the cross. Yes, Richard. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Can I say this? Yes. Jesus literally went to hell for us. Yes. Mm. Think it easy. For me, preacher. Yes. For me. 
Just for me, yes. Just for me, blows. Mm. They spat on him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in the Greek, the spit is hawk. Yeah. Mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Have mercy, preacher. And they show you a picture with him yeah. with clothes, but he was naked. Yeah. He fell once, man. Yes. I walked up the Via Dolorosa. The thing just keeps going up. And he fell twice. Yes. But it was a black man. Yes. I said this, you know, I said it again, I said it before. I was preaching in New York between New Lots and Bradford. And in those days, we had those old time projectors. Floops. Mm -hmm. Floops. Yes. And those slides that you can't change, <laughs> Dr. Telemac. <laughs> So I had a slide with there, a slide on the screen with Jesus, in fact, with, with the saints going to heaven. And I'm using the slide and I say, can't you see yourself? Can't you see yourself in the number? Can you see yourself going to heaven? And a black guy jumped up under the tent. He said, those are white people. Where are the black people? Yes. And the people laughed. And I was kind of scared. But God gave me the interpretation. And so I looked at him and I said, the reason why you can't see the black people is because they went in already. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> because when Jesus fell, when Jesus fell on his way to Golgotha, it was a black man. Yes, sir. Say, come on, somebody say. Yes, Richard. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Yes. Simon of Cyrene. Simon of Cyrene. Yes. And so Jesus literally, literally went to hell for all of us. Here is the evidence. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians 5.21. Come on, read it now. Read it, read it, read the thing. For, 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 read, read for he <laughs> hath made him yes, man. to be sin for us. Stop that. Mm -hmm. How you could be sin for us? Mm. Yes. Be sin for us. Read on. Who what? Who knew no sin? What? Read on again what he want to say. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I said, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Bearing all my sin and shame. Yo, sing it, no man. for a moment and just say thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus and so the major benefit of the judgment of God is not punishment no way preacher because when you think of judgment you think punishment, punishment. but true. the major benefit of the judgment of God is not punishment some of the major benefits of the judgment of God are what acceptance come on let me say again I say some of the major benefits of the judgment of God are what? Acceptance. What else, reader? Repentance. What is this one? Security. What is the other one? Life everlasting. And what is this one down here? No more death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. 
And so Calvary not only secures our place with Christ, mm -hmm. it highlights the importance of the Sabbath. Yes, Amen. yes, preacher. Yes. Pastor Morgan, you talk every Sabbath. No, that's not you. Talking commandments too. Mm -hmm. If it upsets you because you don't keep it, mm. it's not my Sabbath. Yes. It's the Sabbath of the Lord. Thy God. Thy God. Yes. The guy who kept Sunday met me. I said, buddy, it's not my church Sabbath. It is God's Sabbath. Yes. You see, I never thought of it this way. I said, well, you better think it's God's Sabbath. Mm. And if I'm not an Adventist tomorrow, I'll still keep the Sabbath because it's not Adventist Sabbath, it's God's Sabbath. God's Sabbath. Yes, preachers. Come on, somebody say amen. Bro. Amen. That's why you say, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, man. Yes. Because yes. I am holy. At least, man, you are sinful. But put aside this day for me. Six days you must labor and do all your work. But the seven days, the what would it's he? The Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Yes. Amen. His resurrection foreshadows the fulfillment of 1 Thessalonians 4.16. Mm -hmm. Matthew 27, 52. And the graves were opened. What a foreshadow, eh? Yes, yes. Thessalonians said the dead in Christ shall rise. First. First. It says, and the graves were opened. Not any grave. And many bodies of the saints. saints. Uh -huh. So what was the grave of the saints? Yes. yes so what's the sure. foreshadowing, no man? Yes. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Yes. But before that happened, man, and the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints which slept ah uh, roll the thing. Come on, come on, see the thing here. Matthew twenty, Matthew twenty-seven fifty-three, and what? And came out of the grave. Oh, they came where? Out of. Hold on. Yes. They came out. Yes, out, preacher. How? They came out. <laughs> Wait, you understand? Yeah. You understand? <laughs> they came out. They came out? Yes. No preacher. After his resurrection. And went into the holy city. Yes. Preacher. And appeared unto many. Yes. Come on, yes, somebody preacher. give me a break, yes, man. Sir. What a foreshadowing. I said, what a foreshadowing. Yes. What is special to God is the resurrection of his saints. Yes. That's yes. why when he comes, that the dead in Christ shall rise. First, preacher. Christ come back, he come back to judge nobody. The second time he come in for his sins. Yes. Huh? Those who died in Christ. Yes. Those who keep the commandments. Yes. Those who respect the word of the living God. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Those who died without Christ, you got to wait for a thousand years. Yes. yes. You gotta wait until we, we, we enjoy ourselves. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hey, what are what are we rejoicing? Eh? Yes, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, preacher. You gotta wait, man. Mm -hmm. Until we walk around. And we go to heaven. Yes. Yes, sir. And we see Moses. Yes. And we see Isaac. Yes. I sang the song before, but I'll sing it again. It's a song I wrote. Oh, I wanna be there. To see where they pierce the side. Mm -hmm. I wanna be there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. To see where the nails did ride. The crowns they laid on his head. <laughs> and the blood that he shed I want to be taken up to Calvary And see that place where he died for me I want to see Noah Noah preacher, yes Moses and Jonah Oh, I want to be there I want to be there And I got to be hello <laughs> be hallelujah. hallelujah yes can i tell you of this guy who met the devil hmm. the devil said to him where are you going heaven or hell he says according to how it looks the devil say all right i could take you to heaven i could take you to hell yes you know where you want to go first and he said hell mm -hmm. he went on the elevator and the elevator took him down, down because hell is down down mm -hmm. when he got out wow yes Beautiful golf courses. Yes. Thought yes. he was in Barbados. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, well manicured. Preacher. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful girls. Yes, huh? yes, yes. Yes, preacher. man, 34 and 18, 34. <laughs> Mercy, preacher. <laughs> Skin well polished. 
<laughs> and then he went to the disco but he had a good time yes i said he had a good time boy they were playing some calypso and some love songs you know and then uh, <laughs> i guess the one that got him was this one stuck on you got this feeling he stuck. <laughs> yes richard but then the devil came and said all right all right you have seen yes, hell yes. let's go to heaven and so they went up on the elevator and because hell is down then heaven is oh, preacher yes when they got to the top came out wow the place was beautiful beautiful preacher yes Paint the, picture. the place was just splendid yes wow. spick and span spick and span yes the streets of gold yes as my good friend Dr. Dutton would say, it was, it was califragilistic espialidocious. Yes, super califragilistic. Super califragilistic espialidocious. Yes. Just grand, peaceful. Mm -hmm. so All the homes were made of gold. Wow. The place was so peaceful that he went and he, he lay down and he fell asleep. Yes, yes, preacher. When the devil came back to him, he was still sleeping. The devil had to wake him up. Get up, get up, get up. You, 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 you have seen heaven and you have seen hell. What is your choice? And the guy thought for a moment like he was still sleeping. And then he said, hell. Mm. The devil took him and brought him down on the elevator. Yes. When he came to the bottom, instead of the beautiful golf courses and the discos and the beautiful girls, the girls were well manicured. Everything was black, black grass. Everything was charred. Everything was just out of shape. Yes. And he said to the devil, where are the beautiful girls? Where are the golf courses? Come on, man. Where are the discos? Yes. And the devil said to him, that was the advertisement. This is the real thing. Mercy, preacher. Serious thing, preacher. It's a matter choice that's right that's right jesus died in our place but we must still respond to that love and mercy amen yes if we do not respond correctly mm -hmm. come on come on yes. somebody yes. i say if we do not respond how correctly by re agreeing with god mm -hmm. that our sin is what is a stench is a stench in his nostrils mm -hmm. we will remain under the judgment, judgment of, of god. god yeah that's a serious thing preacher you better say that again let yes. me see again yes if we do not respond correctly by what agreeing with god that our sin is a what is a stench in the nos in his nostrils yes. we will remain under the what the judgment of god the judgment of god yes the judgment of god and that judgment is one where god destroys you in yes. the lake of fire yes that's right and so watch it tonight the judgment goes in your favor. Yes, sir. When you accept Jesus as Savior. Amen. 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 Come on, man. Amen. Huh? The judgment goes in your favor. After accepting the living word, yes, sir. you decide to follow the written, written word. word. Yes, preacher. Yes. And what's the third one? Read it. Read it, Woody. The, the judgment what? Goes in your favor. Yes, sir. If you die in Christ. Yeah, man. Yes. Yes. And the last one. The judgment spells favor. Yes. Yes, preacher. And hear this, please. God's judgment are always true. True judgment. <laughs> yes. They always fit his perfect standard of righteousness and truth. Yes, preacher. Amen. So if God judge, God judges correctly. Yes, preacher. God doesn't make mistake. Yes. So you can't tell God, no, it's not me. It's the man of no God knows it. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. And amen. angels have been writing all the time. Oh, yes. when you go here, they have it there. When is anybody listening to me here? Yes, sir. And so tonight, if we fail to see God's purpose for judgment, mm -hmm. we will view it negatively. Yes. Hmm? Yes. And we'll think of it as punishment mm -hmm. instead of grace and mercy. It's true. It's true, it's true, preacher. It's true. You're talking truth. What God will give me is grace and mercy. Yeah. I wasn't the easy fellow out there. Is anybody here? And so tonight, mercy is available. Amen. Mercy Amen. refused. And love took my place. Oh, yes. There on the cross where justice prevailed. Somebody help me. Mercy refused to let me down. Jesus the Lamb was crucified. Oh, righteousness. Mercy. Tonight, mercy is available. 
Oh, yes. Forgiveness is what? Available. Ah, what is this big word? What is that mm-hmm. one? Restoration. Is is the thing, what is available? Restoration is available. I love the last one. What, what is available? Power to live right is available. <laughs> What's the thing yes, about yes, yes. Power to what? Power to live right is available. Hallelujah! Yes. They standing on the promises of Christ. Sing with me. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing. Oh, standing on the promises of God. Oh, I am standing. Standing. Oh, standing on the promises of God. Learned them from K.S. Wiggins. He's deceased now. And he would text me and tell me what to do. How to frame them. The first one. If you want his forgiveness, say yes. Yes. Let me ask you again. I say if you want his forgiveness, say yes. Yes. If you desire his forgiveness, say yes, please. Yes, please. Ah, I love that. Let me say it again. If you desire his forgiveness, say yes, please. Yes, please. And here's the last one. If you will cherish his forgiveness, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price. That song just blessed my heart. Bearing all my sin and shame. In love you came. In love you came. And give amazing and grace. Give amazing grace. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the love. He died for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the Should have been your cross. Your pain. He wants to wash you tonight. Give him a chance in your life, man. Oh, he is worthy. And he's no longer on the cross. He's seated on the throne. Would you come in tonight? I crown you now with many crowns. You reign victorious. He's high. And he's lifted up. Jesus, Son of God. He's the darling of heaven. Sing it. He was crucified. He's worthy of your affection. He's worthy of that decision you're going to make tonight. Won't you make that decision for baptism tonight? He's worthy. He wants your heart. Yes. He wants to save you. Yes. Why go to hell when you can go to heaven? Yes, preacher. This might be your last year, your last month, your last week. You never know. It's true. Come. Come now that you have the chance. Mm-hmm. I mean, nobody have to pull you a Bible study or oh, this and that. Oh, let me tell you, man, I, I came not even understanding what Sabbath is. I just came. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But God led me and God taught me, man. God is going to speak to you, speak to you in a dream, use you, using your children, using your spouse, using your friends, using members of the church. Talk to my friends in the church who have left the church. Come back home, man. Come back home. Come back. I talk to my pastors across the entire Caribbean Union, man. You need to take this thing seriously. I know you are. 
but not by sitting at home and listening to the sermons, man. You need to get out there and bring somebody to Christ, man. Work with your members, man. Those in the Bahamas, too. Those in Jamaica, too, man. This is closing down time, man. So make that decision, man. I can send you to the Bovi app. I can send you here. But watch it, man. You just get to make up in your mind. And as long as you make up in your mind, oh, God yes. will provide a way. Yes, yes. Please. God will open the door. Maybe there's an Adventist right next to you and you don't know. Huh? God will open the door. Just be willing to accept him tonight. Accept his Sabbath, his commandments, and his baptism. Amen. Thank you for your decision tonight. And may God bless you. In the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can we say the Lord's Prayer together? Mm. Let's go, please. The Lord's Prayer, okay. Oh, yes. Yes, sorry. God. Can we say the Lord's Prayer together, please? Let's go. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will, thy will be done. Be done. Mm -hmm. On earth, on earth, as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. The power. The power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As you go tonight, can you sing this song with us as you go? Mm, lead me, Lord. I will follow. Sing as we go. Lead me, Lord. Can you sing it in your bed tonight? Well, go. You have called me. You have called me. I will answer. Sing it as you drive. Lead me, Lord. I will go. Sing it again. By chance, you are living home in Guyana. Call one of the pastors. If you are living common law, call one of the pastors. Congratulations on your decision. You have called me, man. I will answer. Lead me, Lord. I will go. May God bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yes. May he lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Yes. Both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Good night, everybody. Good night. Have a good night of rest. Congratulations on your decision. In Jesus' name.